Good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. Good evening. How is everyone doing this wonderful evening? Oops. Here we go. Wonderful. And yourself? Doing well, doing well. Thank you for asking. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. We praise you. We magnify. We glorify your name. We thank you, Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. And even late in this hour, we are still rejoicing. We are still glad in it. We thank you, O oh God, for another opportunity to be in this place and space. We thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. For how you have watched over us, for how you have protected us. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for this journey that we have been on, the journey of knowing Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for how you have been just revealing yourself Revealing your son through your word. We thank you, Lord, um, that we are going uh, into uh, greater depths, deeper depths, higher heights um, into your presence, into understanding who we are and who you have made us to be, who you have called us to be. And so we thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We bless you. Oh, yes, God. We honor you for your faithfulness to us. You are so faithful and you are so kind. You are loving and you are just. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O oh God. Glory to your name. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we bless you. Hallelujah. We bless you. Hallelujah. We bless you. Hallelujah, we bless you. Glory, glory, glory to your name. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. We bless you. We thank you. Oh, God, we give you glory. Hmm. We give you glory. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. We worship you. Mm. Hallelujah. We worship you. Hallelujah, we worship you. 
Oh, we worship you. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Hallelujah. 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 We give you glory. Give you glory. Give you glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, oh we thank you. Lord, we bless you, we honor you. Mm. We bless you, we honor you, we give you glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, O oh God. Mm. We bless your name, O oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus be lifted high. The name of Jesus be exalted in the earth. Mm, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm, my God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Hela raro koshi anda ya. Ora mata de be keti baso. Kora mande le le be hunda da da basha. Ta da 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 na magata ya so. Ora mande de 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 keshi ba 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 ha. Ora mande de 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 keti sa. Hmm. Ora da de de behe ke te basunda. Yes, God. Ora ma de 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 ke te da 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 basunda. Hmm. Ora ma da de de behe ke te she. Ora da ne behe ke te basata. Yes, God. Ooh, I feel your presence. Hmm. I feel your presence. Hallelujah. You are here. You are here. You are here. Mm. Oh, Ramanda de de hete basonda, you say. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, Ramanda de de hete basonda. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Ah. Roshi Oranana Mayesia Ora Mande de Debesia Oranana Mayesia Rosundaya Yandro Cosia Daesia Oyanana Mayesia Oyanana Mayesia 
Shaya Roro Kohi Danamashe. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Arabashanda Yorosi. Oh, yes, God. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Sandarara Bahaya, so. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your leading. Thank you for your guiding. Hallelujah. We have a great expectation of all that you shall speak. All that you shall unfold before us on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm, thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Mm, glory to your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Glory, honor, and praise is due to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We praise you and we honor you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, we have reached the, the top <laughs> and now we're getting ready to come on back down. My God, today is day 21 of our 40 days of knowing Jesus. And today our topic is Jesus teaches on faith. Jesus teaches on faith coming from Matthew chapter 17. And let's see. We might do a little bit of reading on tonight. Hallelujah. Let's see here. Hmm. Uh, let's go to, let's start at verse 14. Matthew chapter 17, verse 14. This is the power of Jesus over a demon. It says, when they reached the crowd, a man approached and knelt down before him. Lord, he said, have mercy on my son because he has seizures and suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire and often into the water. I brought him to your disciples, but they couldn't heal him. Jesus replied, you unbelieving and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long must I put up with you? Bring him here to me. Then Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him. And from that moment, the boy was healed. Then the disciples approached Jesus privately and said, why couldn't we drive it out? Because of your little faith, he told them. For truly, I tell you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will tell this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. So what does this passage actually mean for us and mean to us? Uh, what is the significance? Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
becomes important for us to to understand that this is all a faith walk and that there's just a mustard seed size of faith that we need um, when we look about, when we look at um, understanding the responsibility that Jesus left for us, and even in looking at the disciples and you know, they were, they were in, I'll call it OJT, on-the-job training. They were in on-the-job training. But there comes a point in on-the-job training that you are um, expected to be able to, perf to perform the duties by yourself. And all of the teaching and all of the um, healings um, that Jesus did, you know, he, they still did not have, have that faith that they needed to perform the miracle. But all it takes for us is just a little mustard seed that level of confidence that would have been sufficient but they didn't even have that they didn't have that one of the things that my dad used to do is he would um, bottle up anointing oil he was very, um, how do I want to say it? He worked very well with his hands. And so he, he would always have, you know, just like stacks of, you know, of things. And like he, he would uh, keep keys. We had so many keys. He had keys. Everywhere you turned, he had keys, and we don't even know where all those keys, what they what they go to, what they went to. So I'm sure that my mom got rid of, a, a, she threw a lot of that stuff out. But even in his truck, he had a cup, and it would just be full of keys. They had rental property, so I'm sure some of those keys went to, went to that. But one of the things that he enjoyed doing was making the anointing oil. And inside of the anointing oil, he would drop three mustard seeds. He would drop three mustard seeds. So inside of this bottle of oil, there are three mustard seeds. Three mustard seeds. And the scripture that he has on on here is from out of Exodus chapter 30, verse 31 B. This shall be an holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generations. So this is something that my dad would do. And um, in each bottle of oil, he always put three mustard seeds, representation of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And when you look at the size of the mustard seed, I don't know if you've ever seen one in in real life. It's literally almost about the size of a I don't know. It's just very, very small. Probably can't see them floating around in there, but Yeah, you can't right there. I do it again. Bring my to the top, and you'll see them right here.
they're very tiny seeds. And so when we're understanding, you know, uh, with our, our devotion, um, Jesus teaching on faith as a mustard seed, this invites us to consider the strength and the potential of even the smallest measure of genuine faith, not fake faith, but genuine faith. And it challenges us to trust in God's power and provision in all circumstances. So we have been challenged to reflect on the areas in your life where you need to exercise this faith, trusting God to work in ways that seem impossible from your current perspective. And our meditation moment is to reflect on the power of faith in Jesus and its potential to transform our reality. Let's reflect on the power of faith in Jesus and its potential to transform our reality. So I wanna go ahead and open it up for any comments or questions. And open that up even as we continue to meditate upon the word on tonight. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I am grateful again for day 21. And um, it's just been awesome. I was up this morning in devotion. And uh, I would just reminiscing over things that we've gone over about Jesus and it was just the sweetest moment because I could really picture him and what all he was going through and my heart was just overwhelmed with gratefulness and just yes blessing God because I'm literally seeing this in 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 my devotion this morning it was it was just so rich and empowering and I am just so grateful to be a part of this journey mm. I'm uh, so grateful. Amen. And, uh, I I looked at this last night. The scripture just jumped out at me. And uh, I said, truly, I tell you, because uh, he replied, because you have so little faith. Truly, mm -hmm. I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. And I just saw how he said, if if you just have, as you mentioned, that mustard seed faith, how small it is, mm -hmm. you can say to this mountain, move from here to there. But even as I was just sitting here reminiscing and just thinking over that scripture, I, I believe that the major problem <clears throat> is that we don't have our mind on the right thing. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm going to say right object because, you know, we're believing, but the Bible says to have faith in God. You know, yes. I think I'm looking at, Sherry, you're kind of looking at like you're doing it, but no, your faith has to be in the one that can do it, you know, mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. so. So I believe that's, that, that has been a lot of my situation, you know, um, my, it has to be in God and nothing, not even me, but this lesson is. It's just so powerful. But he told them, if if you just have this much of faith, you can say to a mountain, move, and it mm. will move. <laughs> it will move. So uh, I'm I'm just thinking back, just get focused on the object of my faith, which is God, you know. Mm. And and I can believe him because I do believe in God. I, I I've even told myself, okay, if the shortcoming is certainly not in God. Mm -hmm. I know it's not in him so I always reflect back on me so I have to channel my attention on the source who's going to do this more so than just even looking at my situation but focusing more on God that it is he that would do it but my faith has to be in him you know intentionally mm -hmm. you know yes 
intentionally uh, in him mm. as I'm asking him for it because it's it it it's not a lot. He just said have faith the size of a mustard seed. So it's no big thing. I'm trying to go conjure up all this big faith. It doesn't even have to be big. He said if you have this much faith, it can move a mountain. You know? Yes. A mountain it would move. So it's just I think it's just getting refocused on God and knowing that it will happen through him and I have to intentionally have my mind and my heart and my faith set towards him more than my situation that he would do what he said he would do yes. and I'm just, uh, I'm just and it said it challenges us to trust in God's power there it is and provision in all circumstances yes and I'm just like Mm. I've been this is this has just been one of the greatest journeys for me and I am I cannot thank you enough for the invitation. <laughs> Amen. For the invitation. It is just it's life changing, like you said. We won't be the same. We will not mm -hmm. be the same. Uh Amen. I see it. I see it. I just see it. And it's beautiful. So that's for me. Thank mm. you. You're welcome. Thank you for, for sharing. Um and you, you bring up something that um, is important, you know, because they, let me go back to the scripture. I want to go back and read this. Um... When they went to Jesus and they asked him why we couldn't drive it out, um, it goes back to, you know what? It was actually something else that I was listening to now that I, now that I think about it. I believe it because I believe that he referenced, he referenced, um, that biblical account and you're right it does have to do with um what is the object of our faith is it ourselves or is it really in god and that's something that we have to be mindful of because sometimes we as humans, as people of the flesh, we can get to where it's almost like it's us that's doing it. As if we are the healer. We're the vessel that he uses. But the 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 healing. And that power does not come, come, come from us. That comes from God. My God, just something, something to Man. think about and to be reminded of. Because he can use anybody. He can use anybody. Um, but he chose, he chose us. And so we want to stay in that place of um, humility. Because the power belongs to God. Not in anything that we, we can do. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Anybody else? Thank 
Thank you, Lord. And I believe that one of the reasons why he called them a wicked and perverse generation was because they they had the power available to them. You're right. He does not share his glory with anybody. Absolutely right. Um, but yeah, they had the power available to them. And at the end of the day, their faith was still limited. Not just their faith, but their understanding. Their understanding was still limited. Hmm. They had delegated authority and they did not, they did not do it. And they were just as puzzled as they wanted to be. Mm. And the thing is, is that during this time when this was taking place. Jesus was actually up on the the at the Mount of Transfiguration. So imagine them still not able to have that faith to believe, because it wasn't the first time that he confronted them. It wasn't the first time. He had all he had confronted them about being unbelieving before. He confronted them, confronted them about their lack of faith before. Mm. Thank you, Lord. So what we have to realize and understand is that they were empowered. My God, they were empowered to draw upon the authority of Jesus Christ to advance the kingdom. And they did not do that. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. So it even is, so it is with us. Jesus knows the authority that we have been given, but do we, but do we step out in it to operate in it? Do we have enough faith my God, to use this power that Jesus have kept given to us or are we going to frustrate Jesus? Are we going to frustrate him? That's why he called them wicked and perverse. He was linking, he, by this time, he had to lump them in with, with the, the, the uh, leaders of Israel. He lumped them right on in because it was like, you still don't get it. I've given you the power. I've given you the authority. Why are you not using it? Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Jesus, we thank you. 
Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. We don't want to have faith that is so tiny that it appears to be non-existent. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Father, tonight help us in our limited faith. Mm -hmm. Allow us to see that we have the same power available to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you. Mm. So faith is not the power source. Mm. Faith, that's not the source of the power. The source of the power. <laughs> is dependence on God's power. That's it. So we have to let go of our efforts and we have to rely on God's power. Mm. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, Father, I, I, I pray for us tonight mm, that as you deal with any lack of faith that we may have, Give us the ability, Lord. Help us to see, Father, how to appropriate your power to do your work and to advance your kingdom. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mm. My God. We are useless to him when, when we choose to act without his power, Jesus. Lord, forgive us when we repent on tonight. Mm. Even for things, Lord, that are being uprooted just from the place of ignorance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We tap fully into your faith. We tap into your power and your authority. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Give us your heart, oh God. your heart. Give us your heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give us your heart, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give us your heart, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, it's in your name, oh God. Mm.
Alleluia. Glory, glory, glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anybody else have anything that they would like to share on tonight? Thank you, Lord. And also, I was thinking that the more we spend time with God, the more we become, I, I don't, I'm trying to think the word I want to say is more acquainted with him, I might say, uh, that we could ask him anything. You know, I remember praying on uh, Monday night prayer at my church and uh, everybody was just going forth and 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 I remember just going forth, knowing that I was in His presence, and and knowing that I could ask Him anything because of who He is, you know. Yes. And that 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 just shared some like, this is who yes. God, you know. But knowing who He is, it just yes. gave me so much freedom. You know, you can ask Him anything, you know. So I think mm -hmm. just staying in that. Uh, I don't know the word I want to say, but just staying there, mm -hmm. just staying close to God in prayer, you know, and we yes. will feel the freedom to ask him anything, you know, and mm -hmm. our heart is right there with his, you know, and uh, yes, it's just powerful. I'm just grateful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I was thinking along those lines of relationship too, just looking mm -hmm. at the dialogue mm -hmm. that there was the the disciples had the freedom to ask and inquire, well, what did we do wrong? Mm -hmm. And um just having that healthy relationship <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to come to him with anything and and then get the teaching and the understanding yes um that that's helpful to me mm -hmm. even you know if if it's a task or whatever that in 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 my eyes was not completed mm -hmm. successfully don't be in shame. Don't shy away and and walk away from it. Like all the more press in. Yes. And and get the answers that are needed. Mm hmm. That's it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Mm. And it's also just conviction about the the smallest amount of faith that is needed to be effective but mm -hmm. unbelief will get in the way because in my mm -hmm. translation it says because of your unbelief mm -hmm. and it's like there's I feel like that goes back to the 
the session that Lamisha led. Mm -hmm. You can't be in faith and fear at the same mm -hmm. time. They can't coexist. Yes. This is a reminder of mm -hmm. just, you know, how faith is impacted by unbelief. So be done with yes. unbelief. Come on. Mm. Yeah. Be done with it. Be done yeah. with it. <laughs> Close the door to it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So this is helpful. Thank you. Good, good, good. You're welcome. Ooh. My God. My, 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 my God. Um, Rhonda, did you have anything? Uh, good evening. I just walked in the house here. Um, I am agreeing with um, all that was said um, this evening. Um, you know, if, if there's something that you lack, uh, if you ask, God, He will give that you know that knowledge to you, mm -hmm. and so uh, the disciples um, they did they had uh, they had doubt, and I think even though they mm, they had seen what Jesus could do, it, I think it was doubt within themselves. Uh, maybe they they were not uh, believing that that uh, they had that same authority uh, in mm. them. So, uh, but they asked, and they were told, mm. and mm -hmm. so, uh, and so then you know, afterwards, now they can uh, perform uh, the task that um, is needed. But you said something that um, hit me when I was I was driving, and you said, uh, "We're we're useless." Yeah, I don't I want I don't I want to get the words. Yeah, we're, mm -hmm. we're useless if we try to do it in our own will. Is that what you said? Is that what you said? Yes. And so, uh, you know, that's how. That's how I've operated. That's how a lot of people operate. So, mm -hmm. says, oh, I do not want to be useless. So, we yes. want to get this thing. We want to get this thing straight. If we don't have time for anybody being useless at this at this point, because of what we're here to do in these last days. So, uh, yeah, that that hit me. Um, mm. But. Um, yeah, I just, you know, if you ask, if there's something, you know, if there's something we don't know, mm -hmm. uh, you need to ask so we can receive the knowledge, so we can receive the instruction, and not just, you know, walking around here, you know, trying to do it in our own, on our right. own, with our limited knowledge or in our own strength. So, uh, mm -hmm. thank you for those words because that 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 resonated with me. Amen. Mm. Um, other than that, <laughs> yeah. That said, like I said, I'm I just walked in the house and uh, uh huh. And I tried to get my headphones on. Um, okay. Well, but, well, thank uh, you for your press. I, I'm today. Mm -hmm. Some days it's suppressed, but I, I I'm mm -hmm. gonna press on though. <laughs> yes, Amen. Yes, thank you for sharing that. You know, sometimes we have to hear the word uh, raw like that. <laughs> like we don't want, like we don't want what we are doing to be useless, not having any power. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was looking in my concordance. Mm hmm Um, and it's because I'm on this unbelief thing. I'm like, Come on. 
Come Neither. on, we gotta get it. Yes. I gotta root that thing out. It it's mm -hmm. saying with the word um uh, let me go back. Believe. Mm -hmm. Um to believe is to have faith and trust. And then it's it says with the idea of hope and certain expectation. So mm. I'm I'm like, okay, so is the unbelief coming because you're going through the motions, but you don't really have a hope for the expected mm. outcome, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, that just stood out to me. Yes. Yes. And I can see that, you know, and this is why. Um, <laughs> I was doing a um, training on prayer uh, this past Saturday and you know sometimes people may not understand you know when you do certain things but I was sharing how if we're praying for healing for someone if they don't have any faith put them people out the room I don't care who it is. Mm -hmm. We praying up in faith up in here. Okay? We'll have no room and no space for there to be any doubt or any unbelief. This is why you, listen, you got to be having the right people praying for you because we, we get off into praying and doubt be all mixed in. And then what do we get? You get put out the garden. That's what I just saw. <laughs> Listen. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. That's so good. I was listening to this um to this um on youtube last night i don't know i just just ran a, it just caught my attention it says your circle matters yes oh my yes. goodness and he's a he's an, an asian young young man mm -hmm. and oh my goodness it was profound is just what you're saying it you know the people around you, we have to think alike, you know. Mm -hmm. They don't have that faith that you, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. yes. So that was, it was really good, really good. Amen. Amen. Well, this is why you don't, you know, you can't just have everybody be praying. Mm -mm. I think praying in faith, be praying in faith. I need you to get your faith weight up because no cannot pray in doubt oh my god mm. I bought my little niece Junior Pickett and Rachel's daughter for her uh, before she was born this book I saw it and it had the title was what's that on your faith <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Right. Faith, and I've been in. Let me read that book to the baby because it just caught my attention, and uh, that's yes. probably one of the first books. So I'm going to have to ask them about it. Can I read it to it because I want to see exactly? But it just caught my attention. You know, it says a mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. My God, <laughs> something to definitely think about for sure. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Ooh, Father, we just thank you for this journey that we have been on and the journey of the word. 
we don't take it for granted. Mm. Make Make Thank you. Thank you, Father, that you are showing us the areas in our life where our faith needs to be built up. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. So we continue to just fill ourselves with your word. Yes. Just be mindful of what the Lord allows and what he brings to you in order for your faith muscles to be used. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. May we continue to meditate upon this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We have a great expectation of what we shall see and what shall be revealed. Hallelujah. Father, we just pray that our sleep in our rest that our rest our rest mm, is made mm, that we have everything that we stand in need of thank you Lord Father, thank you Lord 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm, we bless you. Mm, we praise you. Oh, and we honor you. Mm. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. All right, well, Lord willing, we'll be back here at the same time. Seeing what else the Lord has for us and where he's getting ready to take us for day 22. My God, day 22. So have a great evening. Love you guys. You also. We love you too. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.